what's up guys? I hope you're having a fantastic day and welcome back to another Cars 3 Diecast review. Today we have Shannon Spokes from the Piston Cup Race 5 pack. Now as you probably saw when you clicked on this video, the thumbnail only shows Shannon and not the entire pack. The reason why I did that is because all of these other cars, McQueen, Brick Yardley, Jackson Storm, and Danny Suarez have been released in other ways and I have already reviewed all of them. So this video is going to focus solely on Shannon, but the only way we can get Shannon at this time is through the pack. So I guess we do have to give a little attention to the rest of the cars. So let's just dive right into the review. This is a Walmart exclusive set. I know it has been found in the United States and Mexico. I'm not entirely sure about Canada. So if anyone's up in Canada, please let me know if you have been able to find this set. I hope you have, but I haven't really heard of anyone. So unfortunately, it may not be available there just yet. Now as for countries without Walmart stores, I don't really know. I feel really bad for those people, but it seems like right now this is really a Walmart exclusive. Now, sometimes when there are exclusives to certain stores and a country doesn't have that store, then it'll be exclusive to a different store. Like, for example, the Rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen as a single is exclusive to Target here in the U.S., but in the United Kingdom, it's exclusive to Tesco stores. So, you know, it varies a little bit. I'm not entirely sure about this set. It's not the best pack anyway. I mean, we only get one new car out of five, so not the best there. I mean, maybe you'll be able to get off eBay for cheaper than if you actually found this in a store if you live in a country without a Walmart. So yeah, you know, it's just one car that you probably need because the rest of them are available as singles. So it does say first look, Shannon spoke. So they don't really say exclusive anymore in these big multi-packs. They just say first look, which means that this is the first appearance of the character and may be released again in time or it may not. So they're really kind of like teasing you like, all right, here's the pack. You can get this right now and have Shannon forever. Or you can take the chance and wait for her to be released as a single or somewhere else. And then maybe that won't even happen so it's kind of a gamble with her I think though she will be released again in due time on the side here it says blindside by a new generation of piston cut racers Lightning McQueen finds himself suddenly pushed out of the sport he loves to get back on top he will need the help of a young race technician inspiration from the late fabulous Hudson Hornet and guidance from a few old friends along the way on the other side, it doesn't really have much, just a window into the pack. On the back here, we have the race for the Piston Cup continues. Will Lightning McQueen continue his winning streak? So I'm pretty sure that says the same thing on the Desert Race 11 pack. Like it's the same description, which is kind of disappointing, but I guess it makes sense because they're from the same time in the movie. But it would have been nice if they changed it up. So we have first look here, Shannon Spokes, Cars 3, Lightning McQueen. Brick Yardley, Danny Suarez, Jackson Storm, recreate scenes from Cars 3. It says that on all the multi-packs. And on the bottom here, you just have all the legal information, the barcode, and all that jumble that we don't really care about. So I will be right back with this awesome set opened up. I don't even know why I call it awesome. I'm just really excited to get Chan Spokes out because she is the highlight from this set without a doubt. Before we get into the review of the diecast, let's learn a little bit about Shannon from the Meet the Cars book, the Cars 3 edition. So I really do like the art for her right there. And the bio reads, on the track reporting is what Shannon Spokes does best. Always in the middle of the action, she is known for weaving her way into the trickiest of interviews and shines as an RSM pit road reporter. She asks the tough questions and does in the moment interviews in the pits and on the track. If there is a big success or a big mess, just look for Shannon. She's the one in the stylish headset. And then you can see vehicle type is 2016 Saxon GTSC, which is an updated version of Bob Cutlass's model, a 1998 Saxon 
GTSE Grand Touring Sport Coupe GHI. So that's important for when we compare their die cast. So keep that in mind. Of course, we also have the text down here, reporter Shannon Spokes. Now she is based on real life NASCAR reporter Shannon Spakes. So she actually did the voice for Shannon in the movie as well. She was a part of like the huge effort to get NASCAR people into the movie. Like for example, Daniel Suarez voiced Danny Suarez. Daniel Suarez is a real life NASCAR driver. I saw him on the news the other day and now like he's voicing Danny in the movie and they did that a lot. I feel like they did that the best in this movie. Like same thing with Bob Cutlass. He's voiced by Bob Costas who's a real life commentator. So just really cool what they do there with the little Easter eggs from NASCAR. Car. It's just really awesome in my opinion. So that's pretty much it. I won't really get into her appearance in the movie because I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but she really is just an RSN reporter. She doesn't do any announcing. She goes in and interviews in the pits like the bio said. So I do like the bio. It's very accurate to what I saw of her in the movie. So now let's get on to the review of her die cast. Of course, I'm not really going to talk about her release because like I said, she's only available in this pack as of yet. Now, I do just want to mention briefly that the quality of the cars in this pack is absolute trash. Well, I guess I'm exaggerating a little bit, but I'm just really upset that my Shannon has a huge chip here right on the back bumper. Of course, I could not even see this in the pack because, you know, it's facing backwards. Like, that is just disgusting right there. And even the paint around the fenders isn't the best. Like, it just looks poorly applied. Now, Shannon's not even the only one that got bad like decals. Like here on Brick Yardley, there are like two paint globs. Where's my little pointer? There's like a white paint glob. It does not come off. It is stuck on there, as you can see. Actually, I just kind of scraped some of it off with the T. And you can still see it on the T right there. There's that little white speck. Wow, interesting. Let's see if we can get this other one off. Where was it? It was somewhere here on the side. Did it already come off? Oh, there it is right there see that white speck that is not supposed to be there let's see if we can scrape it off oh we did all right so never mind brick yardley looks to be in good condition then for the most part but just the decals are poorly applied sometimes like here on danny swervez if you look around the gold foiling like it just looks a little messy and of course of course shannon got the worst treatment like the exclusive or the first look whatever in the pack got the worst quality the one that i actually cared about but enough complaining and now let's get on to the positives of this car so she's a very small car actually like if you compare it to lightning mcqueen they're about the same in width i mean obviously the headset makes her longer or wider i should say but they are pretty much the same width height wise they're pretty much the same as well but lengthwise mcqueen is a lot longer like definitely a solid like centimeter longer i know that doesn't seem like much but when you're comparing like cars like this, I mean, it's a lot. So yeah, it's quite a bit. She's pretty small there. And we will compare her to a couple other cars in a bit, but I just want to focus on her right now. So I like the little expression, kind of a nice little smile. I don't remember seeing her much head on in the movie because like she's always interviewing someone like this and then the focus is on, for example, Lightning McQueen. So I don't really remember seeing her that much from the front. But on the side here, she has the nice RSN headset, which is the same headset that Chick Hicks has. As you can see right here, they have like the yellow, I don't know, earbuds with the black RSN in the middle. That makes sense because they both work for RSN. And the antennas here on the right side, which is pretty cool. I don't believe any of the headsets from Cars 1 or Cars 2 had headsets, or what am I even talking about? Head antennas. Sorry guys, it's early in the morning. I literally just woke up. I'm like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to film a video. So on this side right here, she has the press sticker, the Piston Cup press that gives her like the authentication to do what she needs to do. I like the signature of Shan Spokes right there to identify herself. And now this is a really, really cool Easter egg. So you have kind of like a barcode beneath press there. And then it also says A113, which is the big Easter egg in all of the Pixar movies. It's an office number 
for like some room in the Pixar headquarters where a lot of good ideas were brewed up. So it does say A113 in yellow right there. It's black lettering and then a yellow background. It's on both sides. It's just really hard to see even when I'm zooming in here. So I do apologize for that. Um, I think I might get a picture from the movie to put on here actually because I think I saw one on the Google Plus community recently so I'm going to throw that on the screen. Hopefully I remember. I actually really do like her design. She's kind of like a bronze silverish color and then like the red border here on the bottom which gives it a lot of contrast so it's not like overwhelmingly bronze silver. So it says RSM right there with the checkerboard logo, Racing Sports Network. So it's been a pretty big company in all the Cars movies and even the Planes movies as well. Same logo there on the headset. Very, very cool looking. We're just going to ignore that paint glip right there. On the back, I like her license plate. It reads RSN SPKS. So Pretty much just straightforward there, RSN, and then spokes for her last name. And it looks like, what does it say above? Let's see if I put this up to my eyes. It says like Florita or something. It's like a car-ified version of Florida. And it definitely looks like the Florida license plate because it's that white with the orange in the background. I can't see what it says below there, man. That's just so small, but I'm sure it's kind of interesting information. But anyways, you can see the taillights there, the brake lights, a little bit of antenna right there or whatever that is. So that's pretty much it, guys. A really nice release. You know, the headset's actually not attached from the side. It's attached up here by the microphone and on the roof. So that's kind of interesting. You can like move it around and stuff. So a cool release, I just wish mine was better quality. I think what I'm going to do is just buy another multi-pack and then keep that one in the package and it'll make me feel better to know that I have one that's better condition. I'll try to look at the back, but I doubt that would happen again. So here's Bob Cudless, who's an older version of her model, the Saxon GTSC. And now he actually looks quite a bit different just because like he's longer and larger. And now they both appeared in Cars 3, as you guys probably know. And his license plate is just RSN, so that's pretty cool because hers is RSN spokes. The backs are pretty similar with the taillights, the brake light, and the double exhaust pipes on either side there. Very cool. You also have this little nudge, the antenna, or whatever that is on both of them in pretty much the same spot. The only real difference is that Shannon is a lot smaller. Like that is the biggest difference between them. I feel like Shannon is a combination of Bob Cutlass and Corey Turbowitz. So do you guys remember Corey from the first Cars movie? She was like the interview person or car in the first movie and she interviewed Lightning McQueen at the first Piston Cut race and then she like appeared a couple other times like at the end of the movie interviewing Chick Hicks instead. So they're pretty similar because they're both interviewists. Is that even a word like interview cars or whatever? And you can see she has the press sticker there as well with the Piston Cup logo to give her the access to what she needs to do. It looks like the press sticker is a little bit updated now because they have the barcode and another code, which for her is A113, which I think is really cool. They're kind of similar in model, but not really. And they're just kind of like coops, two door coops. Pretty nice. I wish Corey had the side view mirrors like she did in the movie. The die cast never got those side view mirrors, unfortunately. I need to open up another one of her because my spoiler is chipped. I feel like Bert here as a cameraman, he is pretty similar in model to Shannon. Just maybe a little bit shorter and taller. And he has a little spoiler in the back. Kind of cool. So how are you guys doing today while we just kind of do a side-by-side -side comparison of these cars? I'm doing pretty well so far. I think I'm going to head out and do a little hunt after I do this review. Here's Human, by the way, another cameraman that I thought was kind of similar to her model. Hopefully I can find the cars with Piston Cops from Toys R Us. I went there like on the day they were supposed to be released and they didn't have them. They didn't even know what I was talking about. I was like, hey, do you have this? And they're like, what? And it's like, oh, okay. So hopefully I can find them now if they got them in. That'd be really nice. 
And now for some reason, Hooman does not actually have a press sticker, but Bert does. It's kind of weird, like some of the cameramen have press stickers like Bert, Tim Rimmer, but Hooman and Dash Boardman, for example, do not. So kind of interesting there. So thank you guys so much for watching. That is pretty much it for Shannon. I think I compared her to all the necessary cars. She is her own unique model as with pretty much all the Cars 3 releases because whenever a new movie comes out, they kind of just start fresh with casting molds. And here are the other cars from the set. Just a quick little look. Jackson Storm, Brick Yardley, Cars 3 Lightning McQueen, and Danny Suarez. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these extras. Maybe I'll give them away in a giveaway on Google Plus or something along those lines. I know some of you guys were wondering in my review of the Desert Race 11 pack what I was going to do with all those duplicates. And so I replied saying like, I don't really know. I might just keep them and use them for something in a future video. I might give them away. YouTube has rules about giveaways. So that means I'll most likely have to do it on Google Plus, which I think would be safe for me. I just don't want to get into any trouble. You guys know what I'm saying. So thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time for another one. Bye now.